Hi, my name is Jason Kang. I'm a full stick developer working in South Korea. We have talked a lot about the front end development so far. You know what HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are, and I showed you some examples to help you understand them better. But you know web development consists of front end and back end. And this time I'm going to talk about how the back end works. The back end receives requests from a client, and then it generates and responses back to the client. Just like the front end, back end has three parts server, application, and database. Server is a computer that receives requests from a client, and this computer runs an application that contains logic about how to respond to different clients' requests. And database is where all the information is stored. The application accesses the database to get all the information that it needs and then generate the appropriate responses for the client. The client and server communicate with each other using an API, which stands for Application Programming Interface. API contains information about how a client should make a request and how the server must respond to the specific request. It contains information like endpoints and data formats the server and client must follow. Let's say you're writing to your friend John to ask about something. John talked about the cupcake he tried in Chicago and a cookie from New York, and you want some information about that cupcake. Then you write to John's address and ask him about where exactly in Chicago he got that cupcake from. If you put in the wrong address or ask him about the cookie from New York, you're not going to get the information you want. Here, John's address is the endpoint and the cupcake from Chicago is the data format. A client must use the correct endpoint along with the correct data format to retrieve the information that he wants. And through the API, the application knows which information the client wants and returns the requested information. Then where is the server? The server is the computer that receives requests from a client. When you think about a computer, probably an electronic device comes to your mind. But today, a lot of servers are usually run on cloud. Cloud is a virtual device that allows you to retrieve resources through the internet. Clouds are more accessible, reliable, and convenient than physical devices. We are also going to use cloud services when we start writing our own code. I'm going to show you how to deploy your project using cloud. There are a lot of companies that offer clouds like AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, but Korean-born Naver Cloud is very promising in Asia. I'm going to show you some cool features the Naver Cloud offers that can make your life a lot easier. And as always, if you want to learn something specific, please leave them in the comments below so I can answer your questions. Thank you and stay tuned.